if there wasn't that video or those videos posted on YouTube, I highly doubt that Jermaine would be buried right now. He would be here right now. On the night in question, um, Jermaine and his friends were basically hanging out outside a, a shop on a street corner. Prior to that, there had been exchanges between two groups, um, one called the CR0, another called the CR7. Now, that's not to say that Jermaine was particularly affiliated with the CR7 group, but he did live in that area. There had been building tensions throughout um, the preceding weeks and months. Things had been put on social media, baiting, insulting each other, um, and a group of five youth had come to that area, we think with the express intention of finding people from the area who they perceived to be CR7s. He was quite viciously attacked that evening and despite the very best efforts of people that went to the scene, police officers, ambulance crew and paramedics, they, they weren't able to save him. He sustained fatal um, knife injuries to his, to his legs and, uh, and died at the scene very tragically. There's no words I could describe to tell you how a parent would feel to know that, they, to hear the door knock to say that this their child has been stabbed. It was my worstest nightmare, what could have happened to me. News coming like that onto my doorstep, it, it was terrifying, it was horrible. The video that surrounded my brother's death um, was put up around last year summer, a few months before he actually died. And it's only just been taken down I'm annoyed because this is something that should have been recognised from ages ago. It should have been flagged up. If someone's reported something on YouTube, especially one of those videos talking about violence and what they're going to do to somebody, in Jermaine's case, is exact, they said exactly what they did to Jermaine. If you interpret the, the lyrics, what they're singing, is um, lyrics to, to put anybody in, in, in threat of their lives. It's used maliciously. Definitely people do manipulate lyrics for their own personal gains, but that also, that also that's happens... That's down to the individual. Literally, like you that's, said. That's, that's down to the individual, literally. Like, you, you can't attach that to a whole genre. We can't blame music or drill for something that's going on anyway. You know, I always believe that music and art reflect society. They reflect the reality of society. They don't create society. They're barometers of what's going on. And therefore, if you really want to get to, to the bottom of this, you can ban drill, but all it means is that they'll be doing it in another format. I think the real danger that we're seeing at the moment in London and elsewhere in the UK is just how easily relatively trivial conflicts and disagreements can become um, exacerbated with the kind of the, the oxygen of publicity that, that social media um, gives these issues. What did I want for my Jermaine? I wanted the best for my Jermaine. I wanted my Jermaine to be a young man growing up, um, being able to have his own family, be able to, 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 to bring in another generation into the family. I wanted Jermaine to have um, a, a, you know, a life of, of, of joy. Jermaine was looking forward to getting his first job. He never got to see the age of 16. He, he died a few months before his birthday. It's heartbreaking because I've experienced all of that. I've done driving lessons, I've done, I've surpassed that. And my little brother, a schoolboy that was supposed to take his GCSEs this year, hasn't done any of that, he hasn't experienced life.